frat guy you hooked up with last night is probably not at the gym. So why are you wearing makeup? If you're ugly, he's gonna see it eventually. Remember, makeup plus bacteria equals acne. Just look natural, ditch the makeup. Oh my God, there's 12 grams of carbs in this bar. There's no effing way of eating that. That's like my quota for the month. Yes, too many carbs isn't good for you, but too much of anything isn't good for you. Carbs are important. They're good for fat loss, lean muscle growth, and to keep your brain functioning. You have good carbs and bad carbs. Good carbs, oatmeal, brown rice, and bad carbs, chips. Stay away from the bad carbs and have good carbs. Hey, Michelle, what are you working out today? What does it look like I'm doing? It's the same shit I do every day, fucking jolly idiot. <laughs> You should not train the same muscle every single day. This is detrimental to your overall gains and keeping your body looking fabulous. You need at least 48 hours between training muscle groups. That way you won't overtrain your body and you'll feel and look fabulous. Oh my God, that's disgusting. Is that a guy? I don't want to look like that. Girls. Let me explain something to you. You need to do the weights. Stop just doing cardio. You need to know something. You don't have the same amount of testosterone as men. Not even close. In fact, your muscle fibers don't grow the same way. You see those jacked woman bodybuilders? I'm sure some of them are on serious steroids for performance enhancing drugs. You cannot build your body up the same way as a man. In fact, doing weights is gonna keep your body tight, gonna get you nice abs, it's gonna get your body looking fabulous. So do weights and cardio. Hey Michelle, you want some water? No, thank you. You've been going for a while, you should have some water. Uh, negative. You know water's really good for you? I'm really not trying to get bloated. Come on, just take a sip. No! Water is very important for you. It helps detoxify the body, it keeps you hydrated, so you won't faint and you won't get dizzy. And most importantly, it can actually help you lose weight because it will speed up your metabolism. Hey, you've been on the lift roll for like two hours. Can you please do some weights? Absolutely not. I have to burn off the amount of calories I ate today. I'm a total fat ass. I had a medium froyo and a half a jar of peanut butter. Yes, girls, there is such thing as too much cardio. It's called overtraining. You need to do the weights also. As I said, the more muscle you have, the more fat you will burn. If you're doing too much cardio, you might overexert yourself and your metabolism might actually slow down, which will put on more fat in your body. 64, oh my God, I have to keep going until I burn all the calories I eat today. Oh, 65. Remember, abs are made in the kitchen, not really doing hundreds and hundreds of sit-ups. Because doing ab exercises are not gonna burn that layer of fat covering your abs. It starts with high intensity cardio and eating well. Eating well is key. Abs are made in the kitchen. Oh my God, this drink has so many extra calories. Why am I drinking this? I just burned off so many calories. When it comes to your post-workout nutrition, you need to have protein and carbs within one hour of finishing your workout. Protein is really good because it assists in fat burning and muscle growth. Carbs are very good because it helps replenish all that energy that you used up during your workout and it helps get more of the protein into your body. Small meals are key. If you have a lot of small meals during the day, your metabolism is going to speed up, which can actually help you lose more weight. Remember, low calorie diets are bad for you. If you have under 800 calories a day, that can be very detrimental to your health, and your metabolism can actually slow down, so you're going to put on more fat. This feed is so comfortable, I can literally do this all day. Come on, Michelle, get your hands off the rail. Let's go a little faster. Girls, you need to do something known as high intensity interval training. It's changing low speeds with high speeds. So she's running on a higher speed for one minute, and then she's going to a lower speed for another minute. This is known as high intensity interval training. Studies have shown that doing periods of sprints and running like this can burn nine times more fat than doing traditional steady state cardio. And girls, 
Please get your damn hands off the rails. There's no place for that in the gym. Hit it! Come on, one more. You're about to slap him for good. You're good. 